Hello and welcome back to The Gift. The Gift is all about sharing amazing people and their special gifts with you. Today I'm so excited because I'm going to be sharing with you a very dear friend and also an incredibly talented man, Mr. Aaron Gilmore. Now Aaron is New Zealand's Dancing with the Stars two times winner. He is one of our most successful ballroom dancers. He also is the father of two gorgeous children and the owner and director of Phoenix Dance Studios. So Aaron, thank you for being part of the gift. You're welcome. So how did I meet this guy? In 2006, I got a phone call from the Dancing with the Stars producers asking if I would like to be part of series two. And it came to me, this opportunity, just at the perfect time because I had a very low profile. Um, I'd been through a divorce and I was just really bringing up my two children and running my business. And I saw this as an opportunity to really do something that was gonna challenge me. It was going to take me out of my comfort zone big time. And so I knew that my partner would have to be someone that I really trusted so that I would feel safe. Um, we were gonna possibly be sen spending three months together, which we ended up doing. Mm -hmm. And so I asked the producers if I could meet Aaron. So do you remember that first meeting? I do, I do in that cafe in Wellington. Yeah. Yeah, it was wonderful. Yeah. yeah. And I remember you walked in and you came towards me and you just mm -hmm. had this big beaming smile and you shook my hand and you mm -hmm. looked me straight in the eyes mm -hmm. and you just said, it's so great to meet you. Yeah. And I just knew in that moment, your uh -huh. energy uh -huh. was so clear and beautiful. Uh -huh. I just, I knew right then. Yeah. And then you sat down and you started showing me photographs of your beautiful children. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Thank well, you. I wanted you to know a bit about um, my background as well. Because same thing, I was feeling, you know, it's, um, you know, I was feeling also pretty, pretty lucky that I was in the opportunity in the first place for, for getting to dance on the show. And um, then same thing, I wanted to get to know you and share a bit about my background as well. But you thought you already, it was a done deal. I did, I did. And I didn't realise till afterwards that it wasn't. I was feeling quite flash because I'd, I'd done the, um, the audition and I'd gone up to Auckland for that because I was living in Christchurch at the time. And then uh, the producers asked if I'd come to Wellington yeah. to meet you. And I thought, oh, cool, this is cool. I'm getting to meet my, yeah. my partner early. I felt really special. Um, and we'd had our chat, and, and so I'm feeling quite confident, which is probably why I was like, pleasure to meet you, we're <laughs> dancing together. <laughs> um, not realising that I was still on the job interview. Yeah, yeah. Mm. and then obviously I went to the producer and I said, yes. Well, that's sort of how it went. I remember walking away and Deb's going, okay, well, you just wait in the car, <laughs> and then looking back and you and her going, hmm, and I'm going, oh... Oh, okay, and it was at that moment we went, ding. Oh, I was still an interview. Yeah. I see what happens. Yeah. But hey, it looks, evidently I got the job. You did get <laughs> yeah. the job, and I'm so, I'm just so blessed that you were given to me because oh, if you hadn't been I. my partner, I know that I, we couldn't have got that far. No. But no, you know, Dancing with the Stars, it's one of those shows, people love it all over the world. Oh. What do you think the magic of the show is? God, it's just, it's a show that truly is for everybody. And it's one of those rare shows that is, you know, especially with, um, it's sort of reality TV, it's sort of entertainment, but it's something you can actually sit and watch if you're in a family or by yourself, and there's still something for you. Because there's the entertainment of the dancing, but there's also the personal journey, how people are getting along, the ups and downs. Um, whereas a lot of telly doesn't have that. You know, it's either controversial or a bit cheesy, whereas, look at his face, sometimes the show is cheesy. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's got everything. Yeah. It's got everything. Yeah. So we had six weeks of rehearsals uh -huh. before the first show, yeah. and we were doing our cha cha, which uh -huh. we rehearsed and rehearsed. She's a lady. And um, I was wearing that beautiful red dress uh -huh. to my knees. Oh, yeah, that was a rule. That was a rule to the knees. I, ha I asked Wardrobe. Uh -huh. I said, I have two requirements. Uh -huh. One, that I wear my right colours because I'm a colour consultant. Uh -huh. And she I said, said this very quickly. <laughs> and I said, and I don't wear anything above my knees. Mm. Yeah, I remember you saying no. And, and, <laughs> and I said, I was like, oh, I reckon that'll change. Um, which I was quite sternly put in my and, place. And I said, nope. no. I said, it's not going to change, Aaron. Nope. And he was like, we'll see. You said with quite a proper little wee shimmy. 
It was a shimmy. I was quite stuck with the week. No? And yeah. uh, we will see a photograph of what I wore in the final. It did change. Togs. Yep. Togs. And uh, so we went into that first show and I just remember we did the cha-cha mm. and my nerves were just like ridiculously out of control. Mm. And then the quick step, same thing happened. Yeah. And I quickly realised that we weren't going to go a long way if I didn't get this nervousness under control. And mm -hmm. what your nerves is doing is that it's fear. Yep. And it yep. is live TV. And when they say, welcome Aaron Gilmore and Lorraine Downs to the floor, mm -hmm. it is just so frightening because you've got the judges there, live TV. And audience. And audience. Mm -hmm. And you've got to remember this routine. Mm -hmm. And so I knew we had to do something about the nerves. Yeah. And you came up with a, a beautiful idea. We, we talked about it, that we needed to find a word. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Well, like the word being our anchor point, you know, the why we're doing this. Yeah. yeah. And that was joy. Mm -hmm. And so it was the joy of being part of this amazing show. Mm -hmm. It was the joy of raising a lot of money for Child Cancer Foundation, mm -hmm. which was the charity that I'd chosen. Yeah. It was the joy of dancing with you. It was the joy oh. of learning all these amazing, boring dances. Mm -hmm. So joy, suddenly, before I would go to, onto that floor, I would just do my little joy. Mm -hmm. This is why we're doing this. Yeah. And you know what? It worked. Yeah, because you my, need to share something. Yeah. My nerves yeah. went. Yeah. And then I just focused on being totally present with you. Mm -hmm. All that hard work, because yep. believe you me, it's hard work. It's a lot of hours. A lot of hours. Yeah. Physically exhausting. Yeah. You almost can't count the hours. No. Yeah. I mean, some days we were in the studio eight hours. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, and then going back for evening sessions. And we had so much fun. Mm. You know, the thing that I loved about the show the most, and I've always said that this is the most rewarding experience I've ever done in my life, oh. because I was doing it with you. Oh, that's cool. And you are a very funny guy. <laughs> you, make, you make it fun, and that's why you're an incredible teacher. But we had some highlights in the show. Mm -hmm. We did make it through to the finals, but before we got to the finals, we did our Foxtrot, yeah. and that was hilarious. Mm -hmm. Live TV. Live TV, and you decided that I needed a cloak or a shroud. <laughs> Over your face. <laughs> yeah. So I did a big sweep, and my lovely pink floaty sleeve went all over Aaron's yeah. face. That was pretty funny. Yeah. And then we did our samba. Uh -huh. <laughs> and Brendan Cole, one of the judges, his words, he thought our samba was the best, uh -huh. despite Lorraine sometimes lacking the confidence uh -huh. to convince us she knew what she was doing. Th that may have been fear. For truth. that dance, what people didn't realise is in this moment, halfway through the dance, that you were supposed to spin away from me. So I was expecting to see you spin away <laughs> down the room and all of a sudden I turn and see your eyes look at me. I'm like... And it was like... That's I was just staring. It was like, Erin, mm -hmm. yeah. blank, yeah. have no idea mm -hmm. what I'm doing. Yeah. And I'm trying to say through a smile, keep going, keep going. And, and then I think you went like this little wee shimmy <laughs> rock piece. I'm like, that'll do, <laughs> that'll do, keep going, keep going. Yeah, because it's, it's live, 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 live. Yeah. Yeah. So we managed to get through, mm. and then they rev it up to two dances a week. Yeah. Boy, so yeah. we did our waltz and our rumba. Yes. And I'm mm. so grateful that the rumba was at that stage. Mm. Yeah, because me too. It's the dance of love. Yeah, it is. And it's the, the one, you know, there's, we've all seen performances that are good, but for whatever reason, you don't connect to it. And rumba's yeah. that one that you've got to connect to. It, and it's such a beautiful dance if you do. It is beautiful. Yeah. And, you know, you have to pretend that you are madly in love. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And if that had been my first dance, oh, my mm -hmm. gosh, that would have been frightening. But mm -hmm. this is what I'm saying about the journey of it. To be successful in this show, you have to be able to strip it all back yes. yeah. and lose your inhibitions. Mm -hmm. And I was quite a controlled person. <laughs> really? That didn't come across. <laughs> to the knees, certain colours. And <laughs> this is why, because I felt safe with you, yeah. I just knew that you were never going to make me do anything no. that was going to make me feel uncomfortable. No. Yeah. or look stupid, yeah. so I trusted you. 
And I loved, I loved that trust mm. that we had. And so then we did our tango, our paso, and we made it to the finals. Mm -hmm. This is it. Everyone's mm -hmm. worked so hard. It, it's a thrill to make it to the finals. Mm -hmm. And that final, I, mm -hmm. I'm just going to say, we, we had, so we did a, a waltz, a new waltz, mm -hmm. a new paso. Yeah. No, oh, no, a new waltz. The paso. That's yeah. right. Now the waltz, we danced our waltz. Mm -hmm. And I just remember it felt so beautiful, mm -hmm. so magic. Cool. And... Nice. And I felt like I was your equal. Yeah, yeah. Like I was like a professional. Yeah. You had taken me to that point. Oh, and we cool. just, that was, we, I remember we rushed off the stage. It was like, that was amazing. Yeah. Now get changed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then it was our peso. Mm. <laughs> yeah, so the Paso, the Paso, we got to do a repeat. So the repeat was a dance that we really loved, but we thought we could maybe just do that a little bit stronger again. And it had gone great, um, was I think two weeks before. Yeah. Um, but then the ending of this one had a slightly different version, um, which evidently was partially my fault. I'd like to blame her, but also mostly my fault. At the end, there's this lift. And you're supposed to wait with your arms. Well, you did wait with your arms out, being fair. And, and so I spin twice and then skimmer along the ground. Almost like, a, you know, a stone going across a lake. Pa, pa. Well, that was more, supposed to be more smooth. But we got there just a fraction early. And so I thought, oh, no, I'll just add an extra turn. And I'm going, Jesus, momentum's really going. And I know he's done an extra turn because yeah. I can feel how yeah, yeah. fast I'm going around. It's like, hold it. And then I let you loose. And at that moment, I was like, oh, that's some gusto. And then you're trying to hide it. You're like, oh. What's going to go on? And then... I just cry. ended flat on my back. Mm. And so I knew that you had said to me that if anything ever goes wrong, mm. you make sure, Lorraine, you just make sure mm. that it looks like it's, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. part of it. Yeah. So I'm flat on my back and I just throw my arm up yeah. and my leg. Yeah. But, um, yeah. I think... And then we just, you came running over. That was the end. Oh, I and lost, I love so it, much. And it was live TV. And it, yeah. it's moments like that yeah. that are wonderful because yeah. it's human yeah. and it's fun. Absolutely. And it is, there's, there's so many times if we're not careful, we can be our own fun police and dance, you know, because you want to get it right. Yes. And I do, I call it fun police. They're like, no, I want to be right, but it, it's, I would rather see something fantastic and wrong than boring and right. Yeah. I really would. Yeah. And in that moment, like I'm cracking up, it's supposed to be a moody, serious dance. I'm cracking up, you've got this moody face on. It's just, it just was beautiful. Yeah. Uh, that's, that is the, the beauty of dancing, when you can really get into that moment mm. and forget that it is steps, mm. that's when you create magic, I mm. think. Yeah, you do, I agree. Yeah. So there's a shot of you just before the announcement, and I'm sorry, but we're not looking so confident in that photograph. No, no. How were you feeling then? Oh, it's such a tough place to be in because there's the whole journey that's come up until that point. And it just feels like there's this one last thing and, and would put so much energy, so much effort into it, so much joy into it. So the ups, the downs, the sweats, what's actually going to happen? Are we going to do it? Because, you know, although I really felt like we were going to win, there was still this moment until you hear our names called, it was still, you know, oh, please, 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 please. And we did. We did win. Yeah. And, you know, we had been raising money for Child Cancer Foundation. Yeah, what a beautiful group. We went mm -hmm. and visited the kids in the mm -hmm. oncology um, hospital at Wellington Hospital. Mm -hmm. And we raised $112,000 yeah. in 2006 for yeah. child cancer. That's amazing. So time. for me, mm -hmm. that was just a beautiful thing to be part yeah. of. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it make, I think it makes it so much richer because it's easy to get lost um, in just the dance. And, and that's, we're also there for that. Yeah. But the fact that you're there also doing it for a greater purpose as well, like bigger than ourselves, yeah. um, and then getting to meet them as well and actually see where yeah. that was going, yeah. it just, man, it just, it just takes it to that next level of rewarding again. And just one last story to share on this, mm -hmm. you know, just how hard and tough the show is. During our last week of doing the three dances, uh, we got to Wednesday and I just turned and looked at Aaron. We were rehearsing and all of a sudden I went, oh my gosh, you don't look good. <laughs> I didn't feel good. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it was, um, I was trying to come up with just a few other ideas, you know, just what's going to take us to that next level again for the finale. And um, all of a sudden, 
around you kind of went soft tone. Everything went a bit blurry. I'm going, that's, that, I'm pretty sure. And then little stars appear. I'm like going, although you're lovely, I'm pretty sure those aren't always there. And, um, and I just remember going, oh, okay, I've got to go. I, I, I remember excusing myself. I've just got to go to the loo. Didn't need to go to the loo. It's like, I just need everything to stop moving. And then just feeling green, like things would not stop moving. Um, and then coming back and trying to get focus, and I couldn't. Yeah, and couldn't. you know, we lost Aaron for 24 hours. Yeah, and I slept that entire time. Went to the doctor, I remember having our field producer going, oh, yeah. he gets on the phone real quick, yeah. getting to the doctor. It was up, serious. And, all that time. you know, and that was, we lost that time, oh, but, oh, God, you no. know, uh, for you, Aaron, you were based in Christchurch, so Aaron was with mm. the show all week. Mm. He had two beautiful children, a mm. family, and you would only get to see them one night a week. Uh -huh. And so you were coming back, uh -huh. you were choreographing our routines, uh -huh. another gift of yours. Oh, thank you. Amazing choreographer. He knows how to make his partner shine and he's very selfless in that respect. But um, I just wanna say thank you. Oh. I've thanked you before, but you know, for me, again, I will cherish that memory. Me too. It was me too. so much Thank fun. You too. Mm. Yeah.